Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Monroe and this is Kenta. And today we're going to bring you a video talking about some current events that are happening in the world uh, in the sport of weightlifting. We want to make, you know, weekly kind of videos updating you guys about, you know, our opinion about things that are happening out there, not just in weightlifting or CrossFit, but in sports and fitness in general. Um, and, you know, just kind of our take on things, reacting to you know, different videos, different um, news articles, different things that are out there in the world. So, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please uh, hit the like button, leave us a comment below if there's something that you want us to review, and we'll make sure to tackle that. Today, we're going to talk about um, the recent news from this last week of one of our favorite lifters from a long time. Ian USA Wilson um, was Ian <laughs> USA Wilson. Uh, yeah, he was popped for uh, I think what Stenazinol and Tristandalone, which is not sure. Um, <laughs> so Kent and I are not. Neither of us are like well versed in you know steroids or anything like that. If you want to check out something like that, more plates, more dates has a great channel. What's up guys, Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. Um, but we just kind of wanted to give our opinion on the whole situation. And we'll kind of break down the comments, the controversy, and everything that's going on um, surrounding this whole situation. The, one of the reasons why I really wanted to bring this up, um, weightlifting is a part of my sport. Uh, so this is a huge, huge hit to USA, um, especially because he has a lot, a lot of titles under his name. First one to hit 300, pound and snatch, which is, as a kid, which is which is crazy. Um, he's someone that I look up to, I still do. Um, and so we, I kind of wanted to just give my input on the whole situation um, about what I think about him or I think about steroids in the sport. Um, and ideally the message uh, that might be coming out from this lift. There's a lot of controversial um, conversations. Uh, a lot of people are calling him cheaters. A lot of people calling him a disgrace, a um, a bad representative of USA, and then there's a whole 50% of the the comments are actually f for it or encouraging him or understands a different type of message. We will be watching his actually the most recent competition video. So this is Ian Wilson um, 2022 World Championship. So this was December 16th. Um, I think we're gonna watch him snatch here. 170. No, he hit 170. So this is 175. No, this is 170. It just popped up. Oh, no, it is 175. Yeah, 175. So this is the second left. <laughs> He's a freak. And one thing, uh, one thing I love about the way that Ian lifts, that is definitely something that I don't coach, um, and that I don't necessarily think is like, the best way to teach lifters, but he has this super aggressive yank off the floor, which like, you know, I always try to tell people like, you know, pull the bar gently off the ground, you know, peel it off the ground, that kind of thing. But there's something so raw and so aggressive about that yank that I love. To his point, um, this is not, I wouldn't say it's a beautiful lift, but <laughs> what it, you can tell the passion he has in his sport. Like, sure. like it, every time he lifts the bar, it looks like he's giving it his hundred percent and it's weird, but it looks like he almost wants to die for that lift. For sure. um, so now um, we're looking at his second attempt clean and jerk. This is 210. Yeah, same thing. Mm -hmm. God. Like you can just see his raw arm. I've seen him lift where he doesn't slap the back heel oh, down, but like. <laughs> That's definitely something that we don't coach or, you know, kind of think that is uh, proper, I guess. But um, what do you think about that? This is, he could only, he's the only person who get away with it. Like everyone in his caliber, you'll see in the Olympics, like back foot is, is either straight or turn to turn inside to get the most stable uh, position. He is like, just like he just rips it, gets under it. You'll see in some of his lifts, we'll show you here. It's like, he doesn't even catch the bounce. Like he's almost like gets buried and then just stands it up. Um, it's just, and, and this is why I love him so much is that I feel it's just like raw power. Yeah. The video we just watched was before the, the big news that came out. So early in the morning, uh, Barbell, or Bar Ben, um, excuse me, posted a you know article that we all just read. And soon after, like 
hours after he posted his gnarly clean, gnarly snatch, as you guys will see, he's snatching 187 kilos. What we just saw here earlier was, what was that? It was like a one, it was 175. So like this is, No, only 12 kilos more. <laughs> like, in, in a span of a, a month, like a month, right? And then he posted a clean and jerk video of 227, which in this video we just watched a month ago, 210, right? So clearly, like, that's not normal, first of all. Two, there's a difference between the competition lifts and in the garage in training. And, you know, in this one, it looks like he's a little bit thicker than he is in competition. Um, so, all that in consideration, right? Comments are berserk. And what's crazy about, uh, there's uh, Fernando, who also recently got popped, uh, Savage, prayer emoji, right? Um, Attitude Nation, the legend, goat. right? The goat, type saying goat, right, emoji. Now, Jake the Snake, again, no disrespect to him, this guy is a phenomenal athlete, trains right here in Philadelphia, sick lift dude, steroids emoji, right? I don't think he's happy with it. That's what that looks like. Mormon lifter, uh, again, someone who's trained from cow strength, embarrassed emoji, whoa. <laughs> right, so like, like you can see there's, there's, there's either you hate him or you love him. I see this as a statement. So I don't know if what I'll- What do you mean by that, a statement? A statement to USA, a statement to other countries? IWF weightlifting. Uh, Olympics have issued a temporary hold of the, of lifting in the Olympics, right? So there could be that this might upcoming Olympics might be the last year or we might not even be there due to a lot of um, steroids, controversial stuff that's happening internationally. It's like corruption though. Like yeah. the judges are paying, being paid off by different countries and like, but there's just a bunch of corruption in like the, like the board of directors and a bunch of stuff like that. Like. There's just been people in this sport for decades and decades and decades that are just kind of, you know, swamp animals that just need to kind of go in order to clean up the sport as far as, you know, making it legitimately fair across testing. Some countries don't have an economic system like we do. If they can't bring home food or money to the family, they can't feed their family, this is their livelihood. This is the only way they will be able to thrive and make money. So there is a lot on the line for a lot of these international um, countries, which also comes with corruption. Um, in my opinion, being a USA weightlifting coach, is there corruption in the USA? Sure. I think we do the best drug testing. It's clear here, Ian Wilson is a favorite in the US, popped. I think this statement is that USA will never be competitive if there isn't more testing international. Like, like to put in compa like comparison, the video you, you guys saw him lifting in Worlds in December, being 15 to 20 kilos lighter than the video we just saw a couple days ago, only a month spam, right? This video here would got him third place Very in his nice. weight class last year. Third place in his weight class. Dude, the, we talked about him being a raw lifter, you know, he like shows so much emotion after he hits that clean and jerk. He just gives out this snarl that's like, like saying like, you know, if China and all the other countries out there are going to do it and just, you know, every, no one bats an eye. But everybody knows about Lasha's, you know, huge total that happens um, a couple months ago. Like, if you think that that's natural and you think that's done, you know, just from snatches and clean and jerks and some whey protein powder, like, yeah, and some just good not, meat. Yeah, so. Um, you know, I agree. It's kind of a statement where he's like highlighting the inequality between what's going on with USA's lifters versus the other lifters. Dane at Garage Strength and like some of his lifters, like we talked about, you know, echoed some of the same sentiment is that, you know, he's basically making a selfish move in taking drugs and that he's, you know, if he is on this world championship stage taking drugs, then that is taking away spots from other clean USA lifters that would have potentially been there. That is assuming that everybody but Ian in the USA is clean, you know, which I don't, I don't think that that's realistic because I think a lot of people see this the same way that Ian does, which is like, 
hey, if I want to compete on an international level, I have to do what the international lifters are doing um, and do it to the best of my ability. I have no problem with Ian or you know anybody else taking drugs. You know, everything you do comes with consequences. Is it unfair that Masha is allowed to get away with what he's doing, but still everyone worships him? You know, in these giant totals that he's making, but then you know, half of USA is going to bash Ian for like literally doing the same exact thing, just getting caught for it. Yeah. You know, and if, if, if the USA paid off the IOC more and, you know, we had more, you know, dirty connections with those guys, maybe, you know, they wouldn't bat an eye when yep. you, Ian gets popped or, you know, the USA would decide to kind of shove that under the carpet or whatever. The biggest thing here is I don't condone it, right? I don't think neither of us do. Sure. Um, I, I don't think, Ian Wilson condones it either. Is it a selfish thing that Ian did? 100%, right? If USA is so passionate about the sport of weightlifting, I think we need to do our own thing and and have our own competition in the United States and be like, listen, if you international folks wanna join in, then you gotta abide by our drug rules. We'll test you the way we're testing our athletes and that is it. And I think you guys will be surprised to see how low the numbers of, of these totals are gonna be. Right, but I think they, that's the only way this will ever work because countries are going to do what they've been doing um, to win, and I think that's, uh, and then this statement just proves that you have to. Are people competing at his level without steroids? Sure, right, but that's what I got from this is that I don't think USA could be on any level like Georgia or like Jordan or like China. <laughs> Uh, or like Italy, like like they're they're up there, um, and you know, and I think that's just because of the corruption of IWF. Yeah. Awesome guys, that's our take on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. We hope that you know things will change in the IWF and that we can see you know weightlifting in the Olympics. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions about this stuff. Hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll see you soon.